Hello and welcome to this episode of T-Tech. On today's episode, we're going to be setting up NTOPNG on OpenBSD. So the first thing I want to do here is log in and uh, get root and check what our IP address is. In this case, it is 192.168.0.168. Do make sure to set a static IP though. Now, we're going to go ahead and do package underscore add in top ng and start to install in top ng. Do make sure before you try to install this that you have actually installed the xorg sets in OpenBSD. If you don't install those, uh, in top ng won't uh, install correctly and it won't have dependencies it needs. So that'll cause the install to fail. So I'll see you in a second when this finishes. All right, now that it's installed, we're going to run rcctl enable redis, and I want to also enable on top ng. Now, on a default install, in its default state, it should listen on TCP port 3000 on all available interfaces. Okay, so real quick, especially OpenBSD specific, you want to restart this here, R-E-D-I-S, before you start in top ng. It doesn't really matter if you restart or start it. Um, if you don't do this, sometimes it fails, and the error messages aren't very helpful on this particular uh, bootstrap. So it's a little tricky trying to figure out what went wrong with it. And anyway, when this comes up, it should um, be listening on that port. All right, that's what you want to see. Let's do netstat dash an pipe it to the last. You see the star dot three thousand colon three thousand. That is the port number it's listening on. That's the default configuration. So with the default. I can go to the server's IP and log in with the default credentials. And then we're in the interface. Okay? So that's what the default configuration does on here. But I did want to show how to modify this a little bit so you have a, a better idea of how to customize the port it listens on. So there's three ways to do it in uh, OpenBSD. The first way is we can make an Etsy in top ng file dot conf. Like so, we can specify our interface to listen for packets off of um, and the port number and as well as what interface it's listening on. But uh, <clears throat> you can also do it inside of Etsy, rc.d, and top ng. Basically, wherever your boot script is, I can come in this file and add interface EM0 if I have a router. I can add my WAN interface or whatever else. I could add a tunnel interface for like VMs could also add a VPN interface. It doesn't really matter. And top ng is pretty flexible about that stuff. Um, also, we can add a dash dash HTTP dash port, HTTP dash port. And then in this case, I'm gonna change up where it's listening. I'm gonna have it listen on loopback on 8080. Now, you'll see why in a minute, but you can either put that configuration in this file here, and that's how I'm going to do it in this case, or we can do <coughs> rcctl set and top ng flags, and same thing, set our interface, and then set where we want this to listen. Again, loop back 8080, then hit enter on that. Now, make sure your switches are correct. Um, this will error out and not make the file. 
and not tell you why, so be careful about that. If you made it right, though, you should see rc.conf.local, and it has ntop ng underscore flags variable in it with what we put in there. You can either tell ntop ng what to do with that configuration with the ntopng.com file, but if you do the comp file, you have to put an equals between the switch and the value. Okay, it's a key value pair in that case. Again, what I'm going to do instead is only do it with um, with the uh, file. If I could type today, oh my. There we go. I'm going to remove this variable, save the file. So I'm only going to have it here. All right. And now I'm going to restart those two programs. Sometimes this will not be able to communicate within top ng if you don't restart it first. So you got to restart them in that order. Then again, we'll let this come back up. Okay, now that it's back up, we're going to do netstat-an, pipe to less. And if we look down here, now we see a TCP port that's listening on 127001, so loopback, colon 8080. So it's only listening on loopback. So that means packets that are trying to access this daemon, or this server process, they won't be able to access it from an interface that has an IP address on it, only from loopback. So I wonder how, you're probably wondering anyway, how are we going to access it now? Well, the answer is SSH. Now, I want to drive the point home. If I come over to our browser, and then I try to go to this IP, 3000, it won't work. Only way to make it work now is coming here, doing SSH dash capital L. We're going to bind port 8081 on our loopback interface. So essentially, our network stack on the SSH server, on that server's loopback, I want it forwarded to 8080 on that host. Okay? It doesn't have to be the host. This could also be set behind an SSH server. You could do the same thing. It could be a host on the LAN. It doesn't really matter. Let's SSH in. That's all we got to do. Let's SSH in there. Now the difference will be, let's go to 127, 001, colon, 8081. Now what happened is the SSH server running under OpenBSD box that also now has NTOP and G on it. NTOPNG was forwarded the packets from the SSH server into NTOPNG through loopback. So all on the local network stack. So from here, we can log in secure. Now this is not encrypted. You can set up encryption with NTOPNG by generating a public-private key pair and enabling HTTPS on here. Or you can do it just like this and SSH and tunnel it over. Because again, on the server, You'll see all the connections now because of SSH tunneling itself to NTOP NG, but you also see 127.001 colon 8080 that says listen, that's our NTOP NG process. So 22 is the only server process now that's listening on, in this case, all interfaces with IP addresses on them. So if we have a firewall or have a server on the internet somewhere or cloud hosting, we can just expose port 22 and have many services be supported on this. You could even tunnel SSH over this, for goodness sake. I mean, there's lots of stuff you can do with this. That's It's very flexible. So uh, with that, though, that is how we set up and top NG on OpenBSD and even make it a little bit more secure by accessing it over tunneling into it with SSH. So with all that, as always, it's been Tyler with T-Tech, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you found it entertaining and educational. Thank you for viewing and have a very nice day.